everyone, welcome back to Gin at 1.5. Today we're going to be making a few different sours. But I'm going to show you how to make them without a cocktail shaker. So you don't need any fancy bartender equipment. You're just going to need a jar, any sort of mason jar, and a tea strainer. And that's it. So a classic sour is usually either whiskey or gin based. I'm going to do a couple today, so I'm going to do one that's gin, I'm going to do one with a liqueur and one with a bitter, um, but usually you'll have 60 mils of booze, 30 mils of lemon juice or citrus juice, and 15 mils of sugar, and then you would also use egg white to give it a really fluffy head, otherwise you can use a vegan alternative, which is really cool, so you can get Wonder Foam or Insta Foam, you can get that from Bitters Lab, and lots of bars use it these days just to make it a bit more approachable for everyone on the cocktail list. So for the first sour I'm making today, we're going to be building it in a mason jar. We're going to build all of them in the mason jars and then use these as our cocktail shakers. Now the one that I'm going to make first will be with Gavro's gin and we're also going to be using a little shrub that we made earlier on that you would have seen posted to Instagram and Facebook. So if you follow us there you'll see the recipe for this. So this is just a vanilla, ginger and lemon sherbet shrub. Really tasty and will work really nice in the sour. So all we're going to need is, starting off with the shrub, just 15 mils of that, pop that in, and we're just going to need 30 mils of lemon juice as well, and just the egg white of one egg, and we're going to need 60 mils of that gin. And you want to pop that in. Now, when you're making drinks with egg white, usually you need a dry shake as well before you put ice and shake it again. So dry shake is just shaking it without any ice. So we'll just put the lid on and then we'll just shake it and then add ice. And you can see it gets nice and frothy, which is what you want. And we'll add some ice to chill it down. And then ice to the glass. And then you just want to shake it again so it's nice and chilled. And then you just want to use a tea strainer. And then use the lid as well just to hold back the rest of the ice. And you just want to make sure that you're getting a really nice fluffy head for this. Which you can see now a bit closer up. And just garnish that with a nice lemon wheel. Now for the next sour I'm going to be using Marinette peach liqueur. So this is one of my favorites by them and it's nice and local as well. They make really, really great tasty stuff. Um, so we'll be using that and then I'm just going to be doing it as a classic sour, but I'm going to use grapefruit juice, pink grapefruit juice instead of lemon. So you just want to grab your mason jar again, a clean one, and you want to add 15 mils of sugar syrup and 30 mils of pink grapefruit juice and just another egg white again and then 60 mils of the peach liqueur by Marinette and the grapefruit will work out really well with the peach because the sweetness of the peach will balance out the bitterness so it'll be a really lovely combination pop that in and again you want to dry shake it so we'll do that first and then we'll add our ice And then add some ice to wet shake. And ice in your glass as well. And then you want to put the lid back on and shake again. And 
you need your tea strainer. And a strain of ice. And again, you just want to make sure that you're getting a really nice head on that. And I'm just going to garnish that one with a little grapefruit twist as well. And that's it for that one. So for the last sour that we're doing today, we're going to be using Oka, which is kind of like an Australian Amaro. So it's an island bitter, and the guys from Applewood Distillery make this one, so down in South Australia. And this one's really rich with lots of berry flavours. So you've got rye berries, strawberry gum, uh, native currants and finger limes in there. So our sour today is going to have lime juice just to complement that. So we've got 15 ml of sugar syrup in your clean mason jar. So just pop that in. Then we've got 30 ml of lime juice. That one can go in. One more egg white again. And then 60 ml of the ochre which has just got this really gorgeous red color. Pop that in. And then we're gonna dry shake again. <coughs> and then we'll add our ice. And shake again. And then for this one, I wanted to serve it up just so it would be a little more neat and fancy and you get more of the flavor coming through. And it's that gorgeous color. And for this one, I'm just going to garnish it with some dehydrated raspberry powder that I have, just to highlight those berry notes in the ochre. Just like that on top. And there we have it, three really easy sours to make at home, lots of flavour. Different to a classic sour, we've got the govers with the ginger and vanilla, and then we've got the peach marinette with the pink grapefruit. And then, of course, the really lovely ochre as well with the lime. Easy. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. Cheers.